I am a sucker for a good deal, so this place just might be a problem. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Big Ball Vlogs, and I'm back again with what might be a little bit of an obsession. Um, I think I mentioned it in one of my last videos. I just happened to be talking about some product. I can't remember what I was talking about. And I mentioned that I stumbled across this website called Temu. It's T-E-M-U. And I said in that video that every time I go to this, this website, I'm like, I'm leaving here with something. Yeah, um, I did it again. I ordered another bag full of stuff. If you don't know me yet, you will get to know that I'm a little bit of a compulsive shopper. Um, I love a good deal. I love a good bargain. I love a lot of crazy, you know, gadgetry type of stuff that you find on some of these, you know, foreign websites like uh, Banggood or, or AliExpress. And the reason I like Temu or Temu, I don't know how you pronounce it, is the fact that for some reason, everything on this, this website is so, so, cheap and when i say cheap i mean inexpensive not cheap like quality i haven't yet i have yet to prove that they have bad quality products but everything on this website is so cheap and unlike your bang goods and your aliexpresses this shit comes fast it comes really fast so i think i might have an addiction here it used to be amazon actually it still is amazon i'm amazon prime for life so right now amazon's one of my addictions but this place right here might be a problem i don't have any affiliation with this place right now i've just bought bags full of stuff from them so far i mean a couple couple of orders a couple, couple couple small orders but today i got what they call a haul I, this is going to be this video is going to be titled the Timu Hall or my Timu Hall or something like that because I want to show you the type of stuff that I'm getting from Timu. Now think about you know my usual videos. My usual videos are all about getting you the best bang for your buck right. So in this package here I just bought a bunch of random stuff. Now I want to kind of give you the reasoning or the justification of why I bought it. I don't just buy random stuff because I want to talk about it. I buy random stuff because I like it and I'm like hey that is pretty cool and the cost is like unbelievably low so I'm going to get one or two or three and you know, now I'm gonna just pass those deals on to you because I think if you haven't heard of Timo, you might wanna go and check it out. So without further ado, let's cut into this bag and see what I got. So first off, you know what, before I cut into the bag, I wanna show you something. This random thing right here, I think I also showed in one of my other videos, was a device that I bought from Timo. It cost maybe about $1.50, $1.25. I think I can leave a link if you're interested in the description below, but all it is is a simple box cutter. But the thing that caught my eye is that it is a very cool looking box cutter. And on the inside of this box cutter, it is just a regular box cutter blade. But this caught my attention. They were about $1.50 a piece, and I think I bought about four of them because who doesn't need a box cutter? How many times have you been like, hey, I need to cut open this box and didn't have a box cutter? So I called this in that last video my Timu or now, I don't know, let's see my knife for the day to open up packages. And we're gonna use that today to open up the Timu haul and we're gonna see what's inside the box. I got some cool stuff here. And I wanna show it to you. I'll leave links if you're interested, but I'm just really trying to get you into, you know, coming back to the channel and finding cool deals. So without further ado, let's cut into this box and see what this bag and see what we got. And hopefully I don't cut into the product. I'm gonna cut very lightly on the outside and we're gonna start unboxing. This stack of what looks like uh, SIM cards or maybe, you know, some kind of, what do they call it, a uh, gift card? It's not. This was a, a deal, and each one of these cost me about $1.90, but this was a deal on these 3D metal model. These metal, they call them 3D metal mosaic models, right? And I've seen one of these before. I'm a big Halo fan, and one of my editions of Halo came with this uh, metal model set in there, so you can put it together, and I think it was, uh, it ended up being one of the uh, characters in Halo. That's what this is. And they come in so many different types of styles of things that you're pretty much gonna find something that you're into. If you're into modeling and a specific type of vehicle or character, you're probably gonna find it in this set of modeling kits that you can find on Timo. Like I said, I paid about $1.90. I think the price has fluctuated from like $1.90 up to, I mean, I think the most expensive ones because they're all the same, but they have different pricing was about $2.90. So the first one that I have, which is I thought was really cool because I love this. This is my most favorite aircraft in the world. I don't know if that's gonna focus. It's the A-10 tank killer. So I'm gonna eventually put these together, at least put one of these together on camera to show you the quality and do a review on that. The next one we have, if you guys are out there and you're into Transformers, this one is Optimus Prime. I think I should hold it like that. This one is Optimus Prime. I am an old school, I'm old enough to know the original Transformers. I had the original Transformer toys, so that was a little bit nostalgic for me. 
This one was a praying mantis. I, I, I really do like nature, so this praying mantis literally looked pretty cool, but they also had like five different other types of, of insects, like a scorpion. I didn't go with the scorpion, but I got this uh, beetle here. They got one that's a beetle. They had a scorpion, they had a, a you know bunch of different, a tarantula. This one, again, being an old school uh, Transformers fan, yeah, if you got Optimus Prime, you gotta have Megatron. So that's the old school, original version Megatron. And this one is also another insect. This is the this is the scorpion. So I got a couple of these, and again, I really want to get into these and put them together. I kind of thought that's what these were going to be. These are really heavy, by the way. Like it's only about what six of these here, but they got a nice little weight to them. I'm interested in how they go together because I don't think I ever put the Halo one together. I just left it in the box, so I didn't kind of like ruin the, the, the I guess the the value of that set. And I'm going to put these together. So if you're interested, stay tuned. And if you're interested sooner than that, want to do it yourself, take a look in the description below and uh, find a link. So the next thing I got is this. Um, I know a lot of cell phones and devices are now coming out with amazing battery life, but in the tech world, or if you've got a lot of devices like me, microphones to charge up, you got phones to charge up, you might even have some drone stuff to charge up. Having a good battery bank is always, you know, a cool thing to have, right? Now these, you know, ba battery banks, you can find them a dime a dozen. You can find them at Walmart on the end caps. You can find them at Amazon for like two for 12, but this one, this one really got my attention. And the reason that this one got my attention is because again, me being that guy that's into the tech stuff and I came across a battery bank that really got my attention because the battery bank itself had an amperage meter built into it. Now, I went to look for that battery bank and that battery bank cost, I believe it was like $125. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna pay $125 for a battery bank. So I dug deeper and I found this one on Teemu. So the cool thing about it is, I'm gonna fire it up for you right now, see if you can see it. Let's see if I can get that to focus, but. <laughs> If you look at this, it tells you what the charge is and it also tells you the voltage and the amperage. Now, is that important to you? Probably not. But if you're into having a cool battery pack or a battery bank that you can see all the internals in it through the glass window and having something that really does, I don't know how accurate it is, but it tells you how many amps are being drawn. I know when I charge this up, because I did pull out of the box to charge it, it did tell me that with one of my chargers, which is like a 65 watt charger, I was charging at about 12 volts and about 1.2 amps. And then when I dropped the voltage to one of my normal, uh, I don't know, 35 watt chargers, it was charging at about five volts or maybe even six volts at about, an, uh, I don't know, about three amps. So voltage comes down, amperage goes up, voltage goes up, amperage comes down. And this was able to tell me what was going on. I also think, which I can't do it right now because I'm using my phone for recording, when you plug your phone in, it tells you how much voltage is being pulled out of this battery bank and put into your phone and the current amperage that it's pulling as it's doing it. Now, originally I didn't even buy that one. I don't have it, but uh, oh man, I'm messing up this video. But I got one that I bought that is similar to this, but it did have the amperage current draw on it, but it's this thing that's about twice as thick, same configuration, but twice as thick. And it just was a massive battery bank. I think I've charged phones with it and everything with it and it still has, um, like 95% charge on it, but it only had two ports on it. It had a USB-C port on it and it had one regular USB-C port. A cool thing about this one, which I really do like, is that it has ports for every different type of charging device that you may have. So you got two USB ports on the top there. You have a lightning adapter on the bottom. Um, you have a USB-C and you also have the old micro USB. So I really do like this. I plan on carrying this around with me when I go on vacations and travel. It's about half the size of the other battery bank. But like I said, the other battery bank, I've been charging with that thing forever and it still has like 99% voltage on it. So the rating on this, I'll leave a link in it. But if you, if you link it, I'll leave a link to it. If they still have it for sale, because the last time I checked, I was going to go back and buy another one. By the way, this was only like $18. Um, uh, I went back to look for it and it was sold out, but I think they said they were restocking, so I'll leave a link to it if I can find it, but if not, just keep an eye out on Timu for this. It is listed as just like a, I don't know what it says, but an X2 power charger. Um, just search battery bank and you'll find it. Really, really, really cool battery bank. So next up, I know it might sound crazy because this has nothing to do with tech, but we have an air fryer. And what I did know is that they make air fryer liners. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm a tech guy and I'm on a, a website looking for tech, but I guess my searches and my algorithm choices are showing me just random stuff because I'm looking at tools, I'm looking at kitchen utensils, and they you know, show me that they actually sell air fryer liners. And I'm like, how cool is that? Now, the only thing I don't know about the air fryer liner is that the air fryer has, you know, has convection. So there's a holes in the bottom vent, which allow the air to circulate up from the bottom and cook it on the bottom. I think this is like, you know, for the people who don't want that greasy mess and they're going to just take the risk of cooking it on the top and then maybe flipping it over versus somebody's just going to dump it into the basket and let it cook and let all that oil drip out to the bottom tray. So I wanted to try them because my fiance is a little bit of a 
OCD cleaner, clean, cleanaholic or whatever you want to call it. Just thought I'd show you these. I think these cost like there's 50 in a pack and I think they cost about, I don't know, I'll leave a link, but I think they were about 450 for about 50 of them. So I got two packs for about 100. Um, that should last me a very, very long time. So the next haul item that I got out of, out of, off of Timu, I think this one cost me about $4, is this thing. And I don't know if they, I don't know if this ever existed. I don't know, but I found it on Timu. This is a windshield wiper sharpener. So, you know, windshield wipers can be pretty expensive. You go to Walmart and get them, and still, if you're buying the, the, wind, the what do they call it, the, uh, the, the ones that do a better job, I don't know they're different brands. I want to I want to say a particular brand because I know they have this chemical that you spray on your window and it's supposed to make the, the, the water just run off your window. I mean, they get really expensive. And what I thought was because windshield wipers sort of have an edge on them when you get them, why couldn't you just sharpen them? Well, guess what? Timu, baby, Timu, the windshield wiper sharpener. And I guess, I guess what, I don't have, I don't have an affiliate link, but I think I paid $4 for this. And guess what I got on my car right now? I also have a brand new pair, so don't, don't think I'm cheap, but I'm gonna try this on a set that's on my car right now because I think they're about to die. So keep 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 tuning into the channel if, when I do the review on this if you're interested in whether or not this works because for about four bucks, you're probably gonna get a, a, a reused, uh, I mean, you're probably gonna get the ability to reuse the set of windshield wiper blades on your car a couple of times to save some dollars. Again, I'm here to save you money, guys. And I think this might be a winner. Don't know, I gotta try it, but keep stay tuned and I'll, and I'll let you know. I told you I'm a, I'm a shopaholic, so usually when I find something cool, I usually buy two because I know if I like it, I'm probably gonna like it, and I'm gonna want another one because I'm probably gonna lose it. So that's what I did here. I lost um, my EDC flashlight, and I usually spend a little bit of money on the crazy type of stuff that I like to carry around. And when I went back to Amazon to look for another EDC flashlight, I saw that, you know, there's some really cool ones out there that are made some co by companies like Olight that have some very cool features or they have this form factor, but they cost like a hundred bucks. And I am, again, I'm a, I'm a guy who's looking for the best bang for my buck. I also have in this box, which I ordered before I kind of found this, but I didn't want to open this up because I might send it up back. Another flashlight from Amazon, similar form factor from a company called like Ron V. Devon or something. And that one cost me $38. These flashlights, I don't want to test them, but these flashlights only cost $8 a piece. Now take a look at this flashlight. Very cool form factor. I like that little slim look and I like the fact that it has two different LEDs in the front. It's just different. It looks different. It doesn't have a pocket clip like the Ron Vivons where you can kind of like clip it to your, to your hat or something, but I could make something that, you know, would work to do that if I wanted to. Um, but it has the ability that, you know, you can stick it to stuff because it has a magnetic base on each side. It also has, um, on the front here, it has like a, a little light system that I think is used for either stand up like, you know, like lantern style lights but I saw one online that actually had like an emergency light in that. So you can stick that on your car if you're changing your uh, tire and you want to get hit by a car that's coming down the road. Um, but I thought this was pretty cool. I haven't tested it. You just saw I just took it out of the box. But let's fire it up and see if it works. It's got a button on the side here, a couple buttons on the side here. And then it's got one button on the top. This was pretty cool because it actually charges USB-C. Now, you guys see my other video. If it ain't USB-C in today's times, it's out of date. This one came with USB-C, it's rechargeable, so you don't have to, you know, put batteries in it. But in some situations, I think I like batteries because if this one dies, it's gonna take forever to charge where batteries, I can just swap it out in like a, you know, zombie apocalypse type of scenario. I don't have power, I would rather go with batteries, but it's not that time yet, so I thought I would get this. So let's just hit these buttons, see what we got. Oh, pretty bright. I got all, it's, it's pretty bright down here, plus it's all white, so pretty bright flashlight and it's got both LEDs on right now. I can tell maybe, uh, you know, I can go out back with this later when I do a test on it. But right now, pretty bright. Um, it already has three bars of charge on there. This right here, this is, it looks like the floodlight. So that's my, that must be for this. I'm going to try that. Okay, floodlight is, you know, going to change colors. Flash, there it is. That's the emergency light there, which I might, I mean, you might get in trouble with that because that's blue and red. Then you're not supposed to have blue and red lights in the United States because those are police colors. And then if I click it again, it goes off. So again, you can use it as an emergency light. On the back here, it actually says that this is, you know, uh, COB, I don't know what that means, COB light, a power bank, and it lists that it has type C charging capability and it's also a battery bank. So for $8, I'm already impressed. And because I liked it just by the looks, I got two. So if you're interested, check a look, take a look at the link in the description and go get yourself a couple of these from Timu. Now, the last thing I picked up again, something super inexpensive was this multimeter tester. And I really did like this because if you guys have a multimeter tester and you're not like a master electrician, 
you don't need a three or four hundred dollar fluke device or one of the high-end master me uh, electrical meter testers you need something that's just gonna if i'm flying drones i want to check a connection i want to check a capacitor i need something i'm going to be able to pull out not have to worry about it and you know pretty much there's a thing that when you have like a big fluke or you have any type of multimeter tester that's just like the box once you probes out of it you got to kind of like put the box somewhere and then you, you got to be doing all this so this one is like a pencil it has the positive probe sticking out of the top and then you stick the negative probe in the bottom and you use it like a pencil so you can always see by testing what the voltage is. It, I believe it has different features, you know, like uh, maybe checking uh, for current on live circuitry. I know that it looks like it's got a uh, uh, voltage, it's got ohms, it's got capacitance, it's got uh, resistance. Um, it has hold, it has a range, but you know, all in all, it's just an inexpensive multimeter tester. I already have like, Two or three of them that I just don't carry around because again, um, when I'm trying to test something like I'm trying to test a circuit in the car and the, and the cords are too short, it's pulling it over and I can't see and I got to stand it back up. I thought this would be a pretty cool device because it's all in one, but this only cost about $8. I mean, again, I'm a sucker for a deal. So if you don't see me buying stuff from Timu, which I'm gonna test this out too, you're probably gonna find me buying it from places like, uh, you know, Harbor Freight, some place where I'm gonna get a good deal, a good tool at a good deal. That's where I'm gonna shop instead of like, you know, your your high-end tool stores. And that's something I thought anybody who's into electronics or anybody who likes to fiddle around with anything that has electrical current running through it, this is something that you probably wanna have in your kit. So that, I think that's it. Anything else in the bag? That is it, that's it. That is the Timu haul. You kind of got a, a little bit of a taste of what I'm going to be reviewing over the next couple of days because I got to keep the content flowing. You won't see a review on the paper liners unless you really want to leave a comment in the description below. But hey, keep an eye out for this channel if you're into cool stuff because I'm going to be doing a lot of Timu stuff. And again, thank you for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. I'll talk to you later. Peace.